Hey everybody, I just want to take a couple minutes here and show you a new idea I'm playing with. Um, I've seen some people uh, like John Orr doing some cool things with Explain Everything, so I thought I'd give it a shot. And uh, today what I tried to do uh, was project that would help students um, do some, some discovery, some inquiry on their own. Uh, what you can see here on this screen, basically all I've done is I've, uh, I've taken a photo um, of a triangle, an isosceles triangle, and I'm asking the students to use the protractor on the screen. Basically, this is just a protractor I found um, on the internet. Uh, it looks like it's uh, from mathisfun.com. And basically, we're going to get the students to measure out the angles and see if they can pick up on any of the patterns that they see. And as they roll through this activity by going to the next slide, as you can see here, um, I'm giving them a little bit more uh, to do. So since my students have never been in Explain Everything before, I'm just going to prompt them to actually record um, some of what they're going to explore here. So in this case, it says um, when I'm done, um, record the, hit the record button and explain what you notice. So in this particular case, um, students would take the protractor and I'm hoping that they'll pick up on the fact that uh, both angles, both of these angles here will actually give us the same result or the same angle measure, which is in this case 50 degrees. Um, so I'm asking the students once they figure this out, I want them to actually indicate what they've found on the screen. So in this case, we've got 50 degrees. And another 50 degrees over here. And that's going to leave us with another 80 degrees up here. So what I'm hoping that students are going to do is they're going to come into this page here and they're actually going to hit the record button and kind of explain their thinking, explain what they've noticed, explain what um, what math or new knowledge they've acquired from doing this activity. So um, we'll do that in just a moment and I'll post an exemplar up on the site. As you move through, um, students are then going to be given more information and we're going to have them try to essentially come to a conclusion that when we have two equal sides we're going to have two equal angles uh, where those two sides do not meet. Um, if we carry on here we start introducing the concept of complementary angles. Again students are encouraged to use the protractor and, uh, and then we try to challenge the students to determine the missing angles without the protractor and record their explanation. Um, we do the same thing for supplementary angles and then we start mixing things up. So we actually want them to record what they're thinking, what they're doing, and ultimately um, give me a better idea as to why they're answering the way that they are. Um, I know that for geometry especially, uh, it can be difficult if students aren't actually writing out um, because most of the time it's just addition and subtraction, um, a lot of times it's very difficult for the teacher, unless they're writing out those things, uh, to understand whether the students are actually gaining an understanding, a deep understanding, or if they're just approximating uh, or using maybe some flawed justification. So um, I'm hoping that this will help with that. Um, something at the end that I've actually done is I've utilized the uh, ability to embed a web browser just by hitting on the add button over here. You'll notice that there is the option to put in a web browser and when you create your file you can actually have the web address already typed in so now students can actually engage in something online. It could be a Google form. In this case we're going to use a Socrative uh, quiz that I've already set up. And once the students are done, we're actually going to have them export to their camera roll and then we'll have them actually upload to their YouTube channel once that's been done. You can go directly to YouTube or to other cloud-based services, um, but I prefer to get it onto the camera roll so students have it and can do something with it or do other things with it on the iPad as well. So uh, that's 
an explanation uh, in regards to this explain everything learning journey. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pretend I'm a student and record an exemplar and uh, hopefully you'll use the file in your classrooms and if you've created any please do share back. I'd love to, uh, to see what you come up with. Thanks a ton.